Well, what is going on everybody? It's Steven here and welcome to a quick unboxing video on my new main phone, the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge, 64GB in gold platinum. Now before that one here, I had the Galaxy Note 4 as my main phone. Super awesome phone, big screen, nice display, I also like the S Pen, but yeah. My mom had birthday one month ago, so I gave it to her as birthday present. And um, since then I was using the iOcean Rock. The iOcean Rock, pretty good China phone, um, just the battery, it's too small. So this week I decided to switch to something different and I wanted to have a Samsung again. So I just went to my local electronics store and then I bought the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge here. And well, it was quite expensive, I think um, 970 euro. But yeah, there was a pretty good offer on eBay, so 128 gigabytes for 970. But when I wanted to buy it, it was already sold out. So um, I just had to buy it here in my local electronics store and that was quite expensive. Anyway, I'm really curious on how it will feel in my hands and I'm not sure if I will like the design. But let's stop talking about it, let's get started and let's have a look at the specs of the phone. And the S6 Edge is a real flagship. It comes with 4G LT, the 64-bit octa-core processor which is actually the Exynos 7420 SoC and the octa-core processor runs with a maximum clock of 2.1 GHz which is amazing. 3 GB of DDR4 memory, 64 GB of onboard storage, so NAND storage, and yeah, that's the 64 GB version, and um, I would definitely go for 128 if you can find them on eBay very cheap. But yeah, um, it was sold out, so I just had to go for the 64 GB version. Then it also comes with a very beautiful 5.1 inch 1440p S AMOLED display. And um, some people don't like AMOLED displays, but I love them. I like the pixel matrix, it just looks great, the colors, everything, the viewing angles, very nice. And that's the Edge version, so we also have the dual Edge feature, which is in my opinion quite useless, but I want to see how it looks. Now yeah, 2G supported, 3G and 4G LT, as you can see at the top. Then a 60 megapixel rear facing camera with optical image stabilization. Then the aperture is 1.9, so it can catch a lot of light and I guess the pictures will look amazing. Even the front facing camera has 5 megapixels and a big lens and also aperture 1.9. So also the front facing camera, really cool. And you can just take selfies with the sense on the back, so really great. Now the battery, um, it's a bit lower than on the Galaxy S5, so it's downgraded from 2800mAh to 2600 but also the system on chip here is more efficient. Then it's also NOx capable, which I'm not going to use and I will just root it as soon as possible so NOx will be gone. Anyway, wireless charging included, so all in all, amazing build quality, amazing specs, but also a damn high price. So there we go, here it is, here's the package, and now let's do a quick unboxing. First of all, um, regarding the package, well, they should get a new designer. The package here looks really crappy, this one here comes off very easily, and all in all, the package doesn't look like a flagship package. There are China phones which come in a cooler one. Anyway, um, here's the box with the Samsung logo. Samsung packages always come sealed and here we can see European SIM card only and what's that red thing on there? Looks like blood or something but I haven't killed anybody for that phone and I can't tell you what it is but it wasn't me. Okay so that's the quality seal. If the seal is broken do not accept so don't even open it if the seal is broken. Here we have another seal and here you can see some serial number or something and the color gold platinum. Okay, then let's go. Here's my AK-47 bayonet. I just love it. You can get this for $10, or actually 10 euro, on um, Zip Militaria, so pretty cool thing. And it's pretty good to open up boxes and other things. So there we go, guys. The seals to the hell are broken, and now let's... Oh, oh holy shit! This looks amazing. Even my camera can't deal with that. It's so glossy. Oh my goodness. This looks really nice and wow, I didn't know that it's so slim. So it comes in a plastic condom to protect it from your dirty fingers. And there we go, let's remove that plastic thing here. Wow, oh my god, this looks absolutely amazing. And I'm um, sorry I have to censor my IMEI numbers because I don't want to display them online. But before we have a look at the smartphone, let's have a look at all the accessories here. So inside of the box you can find another box and in that box you can find all the paperwork. Like the user manual, warranty card and all that. So let's have a quick look at this. Regional lock guide, I don't need that. The next thing here is the Kurzanleitung for my German friends or the quick guide. Here we have the warranty card, which um, can maybe be useful. 
And here we have another quick starter guide, and this time in English. All in all, yeah, um, the guides are probably quite useless. Now also in there, there should be a tool to open up the SIM card tray, but I cannot find it right now. But let's see if we can um, find it a bit later. Now here's the adaptive fast charging charger, and yeah, it's the same like on the Galaxy Note 4, I think. Looks pretty solid, I really like Samsung chargers, they have really high quality. We can see here the USB port, looks like gold plated. You can see the output here is 10 watts, so that's really a lot. And you can charge the um, Galaxy S6 Edge very fast. Now it comes with the Kirk power socket connector, yeah, because it's a Samsung, and all in all, charging accessories are top. And let's have a look here at the micro USB cable, so it's about, um, I think, a meter long. But yeah, it looks a bit shorter here, maybe half a meter. Anyway, the quality of Samsung cables is pretty good and much better than on very cheap China phones. And I still have the first cable from my Samsung Galaxy Note 4 and it works without any problem. Okay, um, that were just my thoughts about the charging accessories. As always, Samsung includes a headset, and I'm not a real fan of the new headset design because yeah, it looks a lot like those Apple earbuds or however you call them, and yeah, I don't like the design. I just think that the older in-ears, like the ones you get with the Galaxy Note 4 or Galaxy S5, that they just look better because yeah, I'm not a real fan of that design here, but that's just my personal opinion. All in all, you can see they come here with that silicon rubber thing here, and you also have to spare um, parts, not sure how you call that, um, your condom here, and you can replace it. Comes here with the Samsung logo, um, the 3.5mm connector is not gold plated anymore, then that thing here is the remote, it comes with buttons and a microphone to do calls, and all in all the quality looks good, but I think the older headset was just better in my opinion. Okay, now that's basically everything you can find here inside of the box. There should also be a tool included like a little needle or something to um, open up the SIM card tray. I cannot find it right now, maybe I just lost it and it's somewhere on the ground, but yeah, I will search it and show you that in the next video. But um, all in all, now let's have a look at the Samsung Galaxy S6 Edge and wow, the first look here, it's amazing. Now on the second look and here in my hands, it still looks and feels absolutely great, but there are already some things I don't like. But yeah, um, let's have a look at the design of the smartphone. All in all, this phone is very glossy, it's a real fingerprint magnet, especially the backside. So when you use it for 5 minutes you have to wipe it off, so you can see all the fingerprints on there and the color then looks strange. Now, yeah, the frame, the frame is amazing. It's very thin, but it also feels a bit strange because you can see the power button is almost um, as thick as the whole frame here. It's, it's a really crazy feeling when you have it in your hands because it feels like, I don't know, like paper. It's very thin. The whole phone is only about seven millimeters thick and with that edge thing here, it feels even less because the frame is actually very thin. Now, I'm really afraid that it will drop out of my hands because it feels like nothing. Okay, then let's have a look at the display. The display is a S AMOLED display and I love them. The colors, the pixel matrix, it looks it looks great. The viewing angles, everything here. So um, there are people who don't like those S AMOLED displays. They are Sony fanboys or whatever, but I really love them. Here at the bottom you can see um, the home button. It's not really wobby, but um, people which have the S6, they um, just report that the home button is a bit wobby, but I think here on the edge, um, this is completely normal. It feels pretty good. Now here you can see the capacitive touch buttons, and they look very good. Now also here the bottom is glass and gold as you can see, but yeah, um, the light from the LEDs from the touch backlight comes pretty good through that. Now let's have a quick look at the things here at the top. Now here you can see the front facing camera with a 1.9 aperture, it's really big, can catch a lot of light. The Samsung logo here in black, this would probably look even more awesome. In the middle of the speaker and left on that we have the light and proximity sensor. And you can see how shiny that is, it looks really strange and I'm really afraid that I will drop out of my hands because wow, this is very thin. Just have a look here at the frame and um, it's only about 7mm, here you can see the 3.5mm headphone jack, left on that a antenna, then here the micro USB port, the bottom microphone, the speaker which I'm going to test today and another antenna. Once again the home button here is a fingerprint scanner just like on the Galaxy Note 4. Here at the top we have the IR blaster which works with a lot of TVs and other devices. We can also see here the SIM card tray so you can see there's a little hole here and you have to use the tool in order to get it out. And here the top microphone I think. Maybe there's something different, I have to check it out. But yeah, here once again you can see the antennas. Now we have the power button on the right side of the phone that's um, more placed here in the middle. And wow, the shiny backside, it's 
just amazing, just have a look at that. The Samsung logo right over here is also golden, but it looks a bit black because it reflects the color of my shirt. And yeah, um, it's very shiny, it's glossy, you can see all the fingerprints on the back cover, so get yourself a plastic cover or anything. Here you can see the rear camera, 1.9 aperture, 16 megapixels, this looks great. Here the heart rate monitor and the LED flash. Yeah, um, I will test all that in my in-depth review, which will come next week. Here at the bottom you can see um, Samsung logo, C certification, all that. Yeah, once again here the edge, so it looks just amazing, but it feels somehow bad. So the feeling in my hands, I'm not sure. It's very strange, I'm not sure if I will like it. I mean, it looks absolutely great, but somehow in my hands, this edge here feels very uncomfortable. Um, anyway, um, I will just see how I can deal with that and bring you a in-depth review somewhere next week. Here's also just a quick test of the crystal clear back cover. First of all, I wanted to get the flip cover, which um, actually looks really great, but then I saw the review from Styler and he said, yeah, a crystal cover is much better, and I just think um, it's also better because the flip cover here really hides the smartphone, but I want to see that great design. Now just check out this, so we have here a protection foil on there, and the cover is made out of plastic. It feels a bit like glass because it's very stiff and I think very scratch resistant, but yeah, it's just plastic and way too overpriced, so I paid 30 euro for that here and I think 30 euro is really way too overpriced for a plastic cover. Even though the plastic feels like really high quality, I guess it's also scratch resistant, you can see designed by Samsung, it looks very classy but really 30 euro for a piece of plastic, okay, um, you have to invest it because the phone was actually 1000 euro, so almost 1000 and 30 euro don't matter anymore. But yeah, um, regarding the protection, it's not a real good protection in my opinion. Now the backside and the corners, they are really good protected, you can see we have here such bumpers, but actually this side of the frame, there is nothing. But it's also very hard to design anything here, because yeah, then the edge effect is maybe not really working, maybe the buttons are then shit to press, and maybe it just looks um, not really good. Here at the bottom, you can see it just protects here um, the corners, but nothing here at the bottom. Maybe not necessary, but yeah, um, it doesn't feel like a protection cover, it just feels like another gadget or something for your smartphone. Um, anyway, um, it looks pretty cool. Now I still need to get it out once again and clean it, because yeah, the fingerprints here are very annoying, and also when you use it, this is the ultimate fingerprint magnet. But all in all, I'm very happy with the phone, because it just looks great, the specs are great, but I really have to get used to the corners, but the design... Wow, it's one of the best designs I've ever seen. But yeah, the edges, when you use it, you can see um, how this looks like. You lose something from the display. It, it just feels strange in my opinion. I'm not really sure if that can be useful. But yeah, um, I'll bring you a full review next week. So I'll also explain what you can do with the edge and all that crap. But I really have to get used to that. So all in all, the build quality is very nice. The performance is nice. But yeah, it's very, very expensive. And yeah, my China phone works exactly like this phone. It's just not edgy, it's not so um, special, and it only costs um, a quarter of the price, so you really have to decide for yourself. It's just like if you want to drive a Porsche or just a Volkswagen. Anyway, um, it's a pretty cool thing. I will definitely bring you a full review on that. Once again, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I really hope I see you again in my next videos. So have a nice day, and bye-bye.